I meet that with mixed feelings. Uh, Bobby has, my, has been my friend for over 30 years, so I'm happy for him, but I'm gonna miss him. It was always fun having him in the boardroom or in the management committee meeting, meetings. Did you see that coming? <sighs> no, <laughs> absolutely not. So who not. takes over now? We, we will find out. We will find out <laughs> soon enough. All right, let's get to the topic at hand. So it's a global fund that you guys are launching, a global and diversified multi-asset fund, I should say. What's it called and who are you targeting? So it is two funds that we will launch, which is really the, the base of our partnership. Uh, as you mentioned, two global diversified multi-asset funds managed on a risk-based approach. And obviously, we are targeting locally uh, through our partner, Union Bank. Um, what are the two funds called? Do you have a name yet? Names are not defined exactly yet. Okay, it is just a it fund will come that in the, Lombard in the next two and, months. Okay, yes. you'll find that, on, and you're launching in the next two months as well, I gather. Yes. yes. Um, you're targeting high net worth and ultra high net worth clients. Exactly. Um, in the context of the Philippines, isn't that just a very small handful of clients? Are we talking what? Ultra high net worth clients, at best, maybe 10 families? Oh, when we did our market scan, we identified, we checked the surveys and they've identified and we as well have identified about 40,000 households that can be classified as dollar millionaires. When you do the math, roughly assuming there's about 70 million peso investable funds for each household, it gets up very close to 3 trillion in investable funds. So it's quite a big sum. But also ultra high net worth, right? Which is a very small slice of the pie. Really, we don't want to go after the ultra high net worth because they're already being served. We'd like to go just below the ultra high net worth because that is where I think our services will be more needed. And this is an onshore fund? It will be a local onshore fund co-managed with Union Bank and Lombardi. Uh, which uh, currency denominated? It will be US dollars, so it's an access to the global market on a diversified way, but locally. Uh, why dollar-denominated assets at a time like this? It's interesting because the dollar has been, well, you know, it's lost ground a little bit in the last couple of days, but it's still quite strong. Yeah. And the peso, conversely, has been rather weak. Actually, if you take a look at this chart, that's the peso right there. It is Asia's worst performing currency year to date. It's lost more than eight tenths of a percent. Every other major currency in the world has gained against the dollar. Um, does that change your strategy at all? What we've noticed in this market for decades is that Filipinos love holding US dollars. So our FCDU, or foreign currency denominated book, is actually quite large. Um, we think that it's the right time for us to offer global products sold locally to our investors. So the whole point is to manage volatility across various asset classes, more create uh, long-term uh, you know, financial needs than cater to long-term financial needs than generate short-term wealth. Correct. How do you do that in a time of rising interest rates and a lot of political uncertainty? Yeah, with, uh, without doing... Mind you, I said uncertainty, not yes, risks. Yes, without, without talking about the technical part. My partners in Lombard ODA uh, schooled me on this, and would they really compare it to sailing. When the markets get rough, you pull down the sails and manage the volatility down. This way, the, the ship still keeps going, but doesn't sink. That exactly, or essentially, is what our portfolio managers do. But Vincent, what's the strategy here? How do you manage volatility across a broad range of asset classes? So, so again, this is a global diversified fund and it's a risk-based approach. That means we define the risk allocation versus the asset allocations. You know, traditional portfolio of 60, 40, 60% bonds, 40 equities will obviously have a higher risk in terms of equities. What we want with our risk-based is really to, have to deliver a smooth performance with a lower volatility a real effective diversification of the portfolio, less vulnerable to forecast mistakes, more stable, with an active allocation uh, and re-assessment of the risk to keep always the same risk in the portfolio. So it's really a systematic investment discipline to manage the funds. Which means it will be customized for every single client that you sign on for this product. Um, Vincent, let me ask you, you're the CEO of Lombard ODA for Singapore. It's a vastly different market there by any measure you take, whether we're talking about uh, income per capita, risk capita, or even financial literacy. How do you bridge that divide? 
as you come into the Philippines? I think Philippines is one of the fastest growing markets uh, in Asia. And uh, the whole approach with our partner, Union Bank, is really that we, we are sharing the same values. For us, the interest is really to look at the first generations of investors, of entrepreneurs that we have in the Philippines with their needs to preserve their wealth, grow their wealth, to pass to the next generations. And Lombardi, being an independent family business for more than 200 years, we've been through over 40 financial crises over the years. We would like to share this experience with Union Bank for its high networks and ultra high networks clients to have a holistic private banking approach to the client. But surely you would change your strategy for the Philippines as compared to your strategy in a market like Singapore. Of course, the, the, the market that we have in Singapore, we are more dealing with second, third generations. So uh, the approach is, uh, is different. But we have done other partnerships in the region already, uh, focusing on first and second generations. Well, to that point, it's interesting the dynamic that we're seeing play out across uh, the more mature markets in the US and in Europe. Uh, wealth management fees are on the decline. Clients are opting to hold more of their wealth in cash. There's essentially a shift from being active, man from active management to more passive management. Is that what you're seeing in the Philippines as well? Yes, we're seeing that, but we're, we're actually not focusing on the fund itself. I think what's key here is that we build a structure. We build family services that focus on family business succession planning, estate planning. We need to build the structure because people don't talk about that. People don't like to talk about death, and the truly rich do not want to talk about their wealth. So it's double trouble, really. Unfortunately, the conversations have to start now. And those are the conversations we need to make before we talk about where we invest the funds. I gather you're talking mostly about the Chinese families at this stage. Um, all right, don't answer that. Uh, what else do you want to, from out of this partnership, uh, apart from these two global funds? I'm guessing you're in it, you're both in it for the long haul. What else is in there? The, the first two funds is really the basis of the partnership that will exist to other areas and depending the needs of the clients and, uh, and how we want to develop. But obviously the family services, as mentioned by Eugene just now, is really at the heart of this partnership bringing to the clients this experience, helping them on the, or supporting them on the, on the family governance, wealth planning, succession planning, philanthropy, that are really the themes that we are sharing in terms of value with Union Bank. Of course, it's not Lombard ODA's traditional market, but in the future, in the longer term, could you foresee you know, rolling out more retail products, perhaps for the, uh, you know, well, the retail average investor? For us, Today we will really focus on high networks and ultra networks individuals with Union Bank and obviously this is this kind of partnership are long term partnerships so they will develop over the time. All right, very good, good insights. Vincent Magnanat, CEO of Lombard ODS Singapore and Eugene Acevedo, Senior Vice President for Union Bank, thank you very much for your time today.